boy, almost three decades in the college game as a head coach. Pete, good morning to you. Yep, good morning, guys. Three decades. We, uh, <laughs> man, awesome. We're going to get into your resume here in a moment because, man, alive is it impressive. You have been around the college game for a lifetime. But I want to ask you about this tournament specifically and how you're getting your guys ready for the start of the season. You know, they do a great job, and, and they're really proactive. And, and the facilities are great, and, and the weather is going to be consistent. And, and the tournament fields, it's got a little national flavor to it. And, um, you, you, it's just really it's safe for us to get out there somewhere where, where we know the, the, the weather is going to be consistent and play against really good competition. And, you know, we'll stay out there an extra day and we'll play Arizona State on that Tuesday. And we're really challenged to find midweek games in this region of the country, you know. So anytime we can go to a nice area of the country and stay a couple extra days and play a non-conference opponent, you know, it just makes for a real, really, really good trip for us. Yeah, that's got to be pretty cool for the kids too, Pete, uh, to sit there and say, hey, we're going to Arizona, we're going to play on TV, then you get to stay and play Arizona State. You know, when, when you're thinking you're coming out of the Midwest and going there and to good weather, that's got to be pretty exciting. And to be in Major League ballparks, they, they're excited about playing those Major League Spring Training complexes? They are. You know, our, our kids are, um, you know, they're grateful for everything they get. And we, we're just, we're all trying to get on the national level here at Kansas State and uh, we're really, really close. So, so as many opportunities as we can have to to go out there and play at a national level and get our kids exposed, the exposure they deserve um, is good for our program, and our kids will take advantage of it. And I'm sure they'll play great this weekend. Hey, Matt's going to go into your resume in a second. Uh, and, and what struck me is you said we're really, really close. So you have an understanding of what it takes to be at that next level. Uh, and I'll just lead with that point. To Matt to talk about your resume a little bit and dive into that. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really curious, Pete, because we talk about the changes at Major League Baseball often here on this program and in our network. And as folks take a look at your resume, again, almost three decades as a head coach, success at Oklahoma, Boston College, big stops. What for you have been among the bigger changes specific to college baseball? I know that the transfer portal, <laughs> NIL money affects all programs. But in terms of baseball specifically, what has been the biggest change for you? Well, you know, first of all, it's a completely different profession now than, than, than it was the one that I signed up for a long time ago. And uh, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, it's uh, the, the portal. The portal and the NIL has really challenged the integrity of our sport and, and uh and, and especially at the power four level. And, but, but the biggest change, if we're just going to talk baseball is the amount of talent that's on the field and, and the high level in which we're playing. Um, and that all is attributed to the draft going from 40 rounds to 20. You know? So you have mm -hmm. 20 rounds of kids that were, were normally into pro baseball or are running around college baseball diamonds right now. And, and uh, I think it speaks volumes to to how successful we've been in developing players to to, to put professional baseball and for our players to continue their careers. You know, it's uh, I think there was a reason why the lower levels of of a ball were disbanded uh, because I do think that we're we're doing a really good job preparing kids for. You know, our guys are going right into double A, you know, and uh, that, that speaks volumes to the level of college baseball. But it, it is as good as I've ever seen it. Um, it is really difficult for a high school player to step into college baseball right now and, and run around and be productive with a bunch of 22, 23 year olds. Yeah, I think that's the big thing the depth of the, the age, you know, from 18 to 22, 21, that change and, and that point you made about the draft. Uh, shrinking has definitely changed it to a different competition. Uh, as a coach and you're recruiting, how does that change the recruitment conversation? Well, it, it changed the way we evaluate. That's for sure. We, If we're going to get involved with a high school player, the evaluation begins and ends with, will he have a significant role in our program as a freshman? Um, and, if, and if it's not the case, unfortunately, you can't project and develop anymore. You have to get a ready-made high school kid to come in to, to be able to have success at the level in which college baseball is at right now. And uh, recruiting-wise, you know, it's heavy junior college and it's heavy portal. And then uh, it, it used to be heavy high school. I mean, our, our, our best players are 
our, our high school originated, you know, Tyson Neighbors and, and Kalen Culpepper. And our best player last year was, you know, uh, Nick Goodwin. He, he, he came for the high school ranks. We're, we're just going to miss out on a lot of those guys and maybe get them on the back end through the portal. And I don't like it, but, but that's the landscape. And, you know, you just, you just can't be too heavy with the high school kids anymore. Or there's too much of a learning curve. And, Pete, the last thing here, the, the thing about the college game, it's still got a lot of tradition in it. They're going to bunt. They're going to hit and run. They're going to steal bags. They're going to throw strikes. I, I think that is, is different than the pro game, and that's why it's really starting to take off. I think people resonate with that. You, you agree with that? I do, but every time I watch the playoffs in professional baseball, I see bunt stealing bases and, <laughs> yes. and drags, you know? So – um, it's how you win. That's how you win. But, you know, when you have 56 opportunities, it's a sprint. You have to win every single game. Mm. It's not 162 where, hey, we'll catch them on the three-game series at the end of the month. It is you're, – you're out of the race right there if you drop a three-game series in college baseball. So that's why I love it, you know, and that's why our guys love it. There's always a sense of urgency, and it's, uh, it's, it's you got to win every single game. Pete, we appreciate the visit today. We wish you the best of luck uh, in the desert over the weekend. Good luck in the conference. Good luck all year long. Thanks for being our guest today on Hot Stove.